Namaste. I am Dr. Madhurika Desai. In my last series uh, video, I had covered topic of diet and nutrition. In that, uh, what is a food? What is the concept of it? And what is a micro and micronutrients we have covered? In this video, I am covering macronutrients, and that is the carbohydrate, protein, and fats. So let's start. Okay. So first micronutrient is carbohydrate. Carbohydrate is the fastest source of energy. If I have to give example for this, if you keep a sweet or sugar on your tongue, it will easily get absorbed because it is simple carbohydrate and you will get energized immediately, isn't it? So carbohydrate is the fastest source because it gets absorbed also very easily. Now, as you seen on the screen, there is a classification of carbohydrates according to the number of sugar unit, like a monosaccharide, disaccharide, and polysaccharide. Monosaccharide means there is a single or one unit of sugar. In a natural form of carbohydrate, we are getting this monosaccharide from vegetables in the form of glucose and in a fruit in the form of fructose. In exam, they may ask you, fructose is getting from dash 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 or vegetables contains which kind of carbohydrate. So get, uh, know about this slide also important. Now the disaccharide means two unit of sugar and in a natural form from the sugar cane we are getting the sucrose and in a milk we are getting the lactose that is the example of disaccharides. Polysaccharides main example and we are getting a natural forms in a starch and the example is wheat, maize, rice. Also potato is a rich source of starch. Exam they may ask you rich source of starch, potato is the answer you have to write. Also, you have to found this kind of polysaccharides in the natural forms at the cell walls of plant and which is called the cellulose. And from the animal origin, we got glycogen. So keep this slide and to understand it well, so you can write down the answer. What are the main sources? As we have seen, the whole grain cereals, vegetables, fruits, seeds, nuts are the main sources. Now come to the function. Main function is to provide energy. Now, one gram of carbohydrate gives four kilocalorie of energy. Now, why this energy is required? Energy is required for every functions, like you know, mainly for brain and nervous tissue, also for the muscles, which includes heart muscles, also like voluntary, involuntary muscles, also. So our daily activities, every activities, it's you require adequate amount of energy which are getting from carbohydrate. Before giving the protein sparing effect, what is the meaning of it? First you understand, if you eat more carbs, but if you are not exercise properly or you are not utilize that energy, then this excessive carbohydrate, that energy, excessive energy, that gets stored in the form of glycogen in a liver. So, protein sparing effect means what? When we are not getting carbohydrates, means if you are starving or you are fasting, then we are not getting a direct energy. I told you, carbohydrate and fats are direct energy source, but we are, now we are fasting, so we are not getting any energy. Then how the body gets energy? Then body get energy from this protein which is the, it is stored you know so body get protein uh, energy from this protein so this is called the protein sparing effect means actually proteins work is not to provide energy protein work is building of our body so uh, it is very important that you require adequate amount of carbohydrate also in our diet to get a good and adequate point of energy. How much requirement done? It is 300 to 500 grams per day. Now, protein. What is a protein? It is made up of a smaller unit which is called amino acids. What is the meaning of amino acid? It is a building blocks. Uh, like 
it uh, like our whole body is composed of protein uh, there are 24 amino acids in that nine is essential amino acids and what is the meaning of essential amino acids essential amino acids means they are not synthesized in our body we have to essentially get this amino acids from the diet okay and non essential amino acid which are 15 in number what is the meaning of it this non essential amino acids they get synthesized in our body so we are not require it from our diet okay that is the meaning of it just uh, understand it essential mainly from the diet because not synthesized non essential not essential from diet because synthesized in body now as i told you our body is mainly composed of this protein which is called muscles you know our muscles bones hair nails are uh, composed of this protein and we are getting protein from two sources one is animal source second is vegetable source now this animal source is called first class protein exam they may ask you so why they call first class protein because it contains all essential amino acids and also they are better get digested and absorbed they are easily get absorbed and digested in our body example is eggs meat fish now vegetable sources as they call as second class protein why because they are deficient in one or two amino acids also they are difficult to digest and absorb we are getting this uh, vegetable source from you know mainly from soya bean is a source and the pulses beans nuts we are getting so just keep this also in mind now mainly what is the functions of protein as i told you repair and maintenance of body is the main function wear and tear is a regular activity happening in our body so for that we require a, a you know protein rich diet also as uh, we are uh, when the fetus in the mother womb it requires you know new tissues to develop and for that the uh, pregnant woman also after the la you know lactating mother they require rich source of uh, protein we doctors normally uh, write you know supplementary protein for this uh period like for in the pregnancy and lactation we write down you know supplementary protein for them because they require in the more amount also proteins are important for the synthesis of plasma protein digestive enzymes also for the antibiotics hormones have hemoglobin these are the main main thing get synthesized with the help of protein and our immune system also get will function with the help of protein. so how much you require so 60 to 65 grams per day for adult we require protein now the fats one of the most important macronutrient now uh um, now the fundas comes fat free diet you know now for the weight loss we we have this weight loss industry which says that you know you should eat fat free diet but after knowing this uh slide and my lecture you will understand why fat is also required and how much amount it requires so fats we are getting in the two sources or we can say in two form first form is uh, you know oil form and second is in the solid form also the sources are visible and invisible like cooking oil butter ghee are the visible sources and uh, like invisible sources where we could not see the oil directly is like in the coconut from the coconut and the seeds seeds like you know sunflower uh, groundnuts now the nuts like almond there you are getting you know invisible kind of sources of fats this is a very important uh, slide you should understand that Uh, we have uh, fats are categorized into that is saturated and unsaturated fats now what is the meaning of saturated fats saturated fats are always in solid at the room temperature they have a higher melting point and we are find out in animal sources mainly from the animal sources we find out this this fat now it is it is a uh, saturated fats always should be recommended in low doses in our diet why because it may 
uh, risk you for the cardiovascular disease. How? Uh, this saturated fats, you know, if we are eating in a more than the uh, uh, requirement, then uh, it causes a cholesterol layer at the inner walls of our inner lining of the arteries. Okay, so arteries get narrow. It's called arteriosclerosis. When this happens, then definitely in a future time, you may get the risk of cardiovascular diseases like a heart attack or angina. Now we are also, they should be in a low amount. Now we are coming to the unsaturated fats. These are liquid at the room temperature and we are mainly getting this from the plants and fish. Compared to saturated, they are very healthy fats for our uh, body. And we are divided into two, these unsaturated fats that for the mono unsaturated and polyunsaturated. Here, uh, you have might seen one advertisement, we have a pufa or a mufa in our, you know, oil. Maybe you have seen this kind of uh, advertisement. So, mufa means that is called mono unsaturated fatty acids and pufa means poly unsaturated fatty acids. Mufa we are getting from the olive oil and pufa we are getting from sunflower, fish oil, corn oil and these are very uh, good for our health as I told you. So unsaturated fats are good for our health. And now this is the last slide for this uh, video which says about the functions of fat. Please understand one of the important function is it is a greater source of energy compared with the carbohydrate if you compare one gram carbohydrate carbohydrate as i told you gives four kilocalorie but one gram of fat gives you nine kilocalories of energy okay why this uh, fats are required they are required for the growth of our body and for our structures of our body you know for their integrity of the structure we require this fat also, these fats are very important for the fat soluble vitamins, you know, to get absorbed with these fat soluble vitamins, these fats are required. This vitamin, fat soluble vitamins or, you know, water soluble vitamins, I'm covering in the next series, so stay tuned. Now, uh, fats also supports your viscera. What is the meaning of viscera? We have organs, internal organs, and the covering above it is called viscera so we have this viscera which is covering of the uh, all, all the internal organs and we are well protected with this viscera so you require for that also fat also for you know thermal insulator as sharir mein jo urja paida hoti hai ya urja ka jo main growth hai wo fat hai dusri baat now is very important that uh, our levels of triglycerides and cholesterol is really depends on fat. So it is a, a very important in your diet that which type of fat is saturated, unsaturated and how the quantity, how much quantity of fat that is very important in your daily diet. Understanding this uh, video you will and slide you will understand that unsaturated fats are good and saturated should be in a low quantity you have to take. So daily requirements is 10 to 20 grams per day. Here, ending of this video, and in my next uh, series, I'm covering micronutrients, that is a vitamins. So please stay tuned. If you have any queries and doubt, or your feedback also is essential for me, you will get my contact details in the video. So please let me know. Thank you.